Hey folks, this is your host Mandeep and in today's tutorial I'm going to address a commonly asked question and uh, a request that I've gotten uh, quite a bit lately which is how to create a, a pre-market scan. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just uh, dive straight into it and this is going to be a short tutorial and I'll show you how to create one of the best pre-market scans. Now when you run the scan and do not run this uh, over the weekend as I'm creating the video um, over the weekend, you will not see any meaningful results. You will have to wait uh, for pre-market um, on Monday or that's when the market opens and then see what the results look like. So one of the things that you need to uh, figure out is uh, when you see a bunch of stocks in the pre-market uh, scan you have to identify a common theme so that to me ends up working really well so for example if you see uh, a bunch of financial names or a bunch of uh, industrial names or uh, pick a sector of your choice and names in that particular sector uh, that shows that there's some kind of a uh, interest uh, you know in those stocks and that could be driven by overnight news or upgrades or whatever else right so that's the thing I would uh, advise you to keep in mind if you're using the pre-market scan. So we'll jump uh, straight into the scan and uh, so what, I'm, what we'll do is uh, we'll start off obviously with a blank scan here and uh, we will um, add a filter. So we'll add a stock filter first and uh, we're going to say the last price and, and this is completely configurable and you decide what is appropriate for your trading style, right? What kind of stocks and what kind of price range do you trade, right? So I like minimum price range to be 20 and the max can be uh, whatever uh, max is available. So it, uh, it doesn't really matter to us. The next thing we're gonna do is we'll add another filter and also a stock filter and go down to the volume and say, you know, pre-market volume is at least 20 um, thousand right so so we'll make it 20 one two three right so that, that's the second filter that you're going to add now here's where the, i'd like you to pay attention because some of you may not be familiar with these settings so we'll add a filter and in this case we're going to go to a study filter here and when you go into the study you'll see um, a number of different options right so what we're going to choose here is uh is uh, uh let me price performance so so we're going to look at price performance and in price performance we're going to look at um, after hours percent change right so this is the option that you pick which is the first one and you say the close has moved greater than and we'll call this five percent right in in after hours right and what you'll do is uh, leave it to uh, one minute or five minutes it's up to you I mean even five minutes isn't bad so you can check out either or possibilities and but make sure the extended hour is selected right so we'll add one more filter which is also a study filter and uh, it's going to be the same thing price performance and we're going to look at a gap up right so these are things that are gapping up and um, the current bars what we're going to look at is not the close but the volume right the current bar volume gaps up at least five percent right so the same same criteria as the above one above the previous not the high but the close right and this again will use the same time frame as the above one which is the five minute and we'll also use the extended hours right so if you run a scan here you'll see a bunch of names and this these names are uh, sort of irrelevant at this point in time because it's the weekend and uh, <clears throat> so i already have the scan saved uh, and i call it the pre-market scan here Okay, so I'm going to enable that. And then uh, what you need to do is, uh, as I said, don't look at it over the weekend, but uh, uh, check it out over uh, when the market opens on Monday. So the thing, one of the things that you need to add, and I've already added it, uh, it's called the mark percent change. Okay, so make sure this is added as uh, one of the columns because that's where it'll tell you what is the percent change in the underlying stock uh, in, in the pre-market. Okay, so that's something, it's really important. Uh, do not forget to add this. And then run this scan on Monday morning or um, 
any day the market is open uh, in the pre-market uh, do it like an hour 45 minutes whatever works for you uh, and see what kind of list uh, you know what kind of stocks show up in that list so I'm hoping this helps and um, you know I'll continue to find um, other valuable tutorials um, that I think may add value uh, to your trading um, I didn't not to do you know videos every week because I just look for things that are potentially interesting um, you know to the uh, people that follow me so have a wonderful weekend and uh, as always please uh, leave me your comments and uh, you know tell me what other things you would like to see and um, if I can I will definitely do tutorials on those topics as well bye bye